So I just mixed up a batch of Angry Bread. But we're not going to eat it in loaf form. It's going to become the basis of hamburger buns for tonight's dinner. So I'm going to mix up my dough and I'm going to show you how I take simple bread dough and make hamburger or hot dog buns out of it. Hamburger buns this time. Specifically, slider sized and regular sized buns. So you're gonna turn your bread that's been rising and dough cycle over onto a freshly floured surface. And you are going to gently roll it, but I mean, it's not rolling for the sake of like, um, you're not rolling it like pie crust, I guess. The, the point of rolling it is to kind of just get it into a roughly flattened square shape, okay? And then you're gonna take a knife, or I'm gonna use my dough scraper, and you're gonna cut it into even sections or as even as you can get. It's dough, it's never gonna be perfect. In this case, we're gonna do nine even sections, roughly even, okay? And then you're gonna kind of, you're gonna fold in the corners and get kind of a round shape. I like sliders. I think they are the perfect size burger because you can eat three of them and not feel horrible about yourself when you're done. You're just gonna kind of tuck in the edges and you're gonna put them domey side up onto your floured surface. I'm sure there are other ways to do it, but this is the way that has worked for me in the past, and it's the way that I will keep doing it. You want kind of a semi-round shape. Secret tip, if you roll your dough into balls and put them into a baking pan, they become, well, like I said, spoiler alert, they become rolls. You can make dinner rolls the same way. You just put them in a baking sheet so they all kind of fused together in a giant mass of bready goodness. want them to kind of round. Round is good. And I will be right back. So what sets hamburger buns apart from dinner rolls is the fact that they are golden brown uniformly, or should be, on all of the sides of the bun. As opposed to bread rolls, which are golden brown on top and kind of doughy and spongy on the outside. To achieve this, we're gonna place, let's see, we're gonna place our rolls about an inch apart on this cookie sheet. So they are their own individual little bun. And then you're gonna cut 
cover them with a tea towel or some plastic wrap and put them into a warm place. For me, I like putting them into, I have double ovens. I like putting them into the oven that is not going to be preheated later to bake them in. Let them sit for about an hour and come back and check on them. Now that they have risen, I'm going to bake them at 350 degrees for about 12 to 15 minutes and then I'm going to brush them with a very light melted butter. So we ended up with a variety of different sizes, which is fine because I will use the bigger buns for lunch and dinner later this week, um, if they last that long. So we're gonna take the slider size buns. To, to use your buns that you have made, you're just gonna take a bread knife and you're gonna cut them roughly in the middle. And then you're gonna top them with a delicious sauce of your choice. In this case, it is a Greek yogurt aioli made with garlic. You're gonna add a tasty hamburger bun with some, or hamburger with some melted cheese and some grilled onions, and if you're feeling sassy, some locally grown baby arugula mix because I still don't have my garden beds up and functioning yet. We're getting there. I keep saying home, was, home, home wasn't built in a day. So we have some red butter lettuce and some arugula. And that is a tasty little burger on a homemade hamburger bun. And let me tell you, the homemade hamburger bun is going to make all the difference. Give it a shot, you will never go back to store-bought.